Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mirror Sandbox, and today I'm going to show you one of the best Android launchers out there right now. It is called Launch Air Launcher Version 2, and is currently in Alpha. The launcher is a modified version of the Pixel Launcher from the Android P developer previews. This launcher lets you customize the Google Pixel Launcher in almost every way possible, while also adding support for custom icon packs and custom gestures. In order to install this application, you will need any Android device running Android 5.0 or higher. Without further delay, let's jump right into the review. So starting off here, you can see that the home screen looks almost exactly like the stock Google Pixel Launcher. If I long press on the middle of the home screen, you will see I get three options. So let's jump into settings here. And this will look completely different. It says launch here at the top and gives you a ton of customization options. So I'm going to try to go through these really quickly just to show you what this app can do. If I jump into theme, you get options to change the shape of your icons. Uh, you can add an icon pack, so if you install an icon pack from the Play Store, it'll show up here and you can select it. You can change the launcher theme, changing it to dark for AMOLED devices or OLED screens, changing it to just a regular dark, or changing it to auto, so it'll switch between dark and light automatically. There's also an option here to show a voice search button or to apply blur. So I'm going to show you this. This is actually cool. So once you check that, you can change how much blur. I'm going to up it a little bit. So if I go home, give it a second to refresh, and here we go. So the dock and the app drawer is now a blurred effect instead of just transparent. And some people really like how that looks. I like it better the other way, but I still think this looks really sleek and really nice. And the next option here is desktop. So this gives you a lot of options here. It lets you disable swiping right to open the Google app. It lets you turn off notification dots. Uh, you can also change more settings like enabling notification lights for them um, or changing notification sounds, turning on or off notifications. And there's other options here, adding icons to the home screen when you download new apps, changing the grid size, you can get into all that, changing the icon scale and widget padding, tons of different customization options there. Now at a glance, all the options in here control the at a glance widget. And that widget is this thing right here in the top center that shows the date and weather. That's called the at a glance widget. So if I go back into settings here, at a glance, I could turn it off if I don't like it. I could also add the time, 24 hour time, or show time and date in the widget. I could change the weather provider and turn off or on calendar events. Going back in the settings here, the next option is to customize the dock. So you can change the style. Right now it's on flat, but I can change it to even custom, unless you put custom one, I guess. So you could change all these settings as well. So dock corner radius, I can make that real high. Make the opacity real low. I'm showing arrow. And yeah, there we go. So here we go. So now it looks completely, completely custom. But these are basically presets, so I tend to keep it on rounded. And continuing on, we have the app drawer. So you can customize the app drawer. You can turn off app suggestions, turn off the search bar, turn off Google search, and you can also hide apps. So here it'll give you a list of apps that display in your app drawer. And say if I don't want BusyBox here, it kind of looks like an ugly, ugly looking icon. Say if I don't want it there, I can check that. Now I go to my app drawer, and I go under B. As you can see, there's nothing here that says BusyBox, it is hidden. And you can do that with any app on this list, which is very convenient. You can also hide icon labels, separate work apps from all apps, and change the opacity. So also we have gestures here. These, you can customize all these gestures. It gives you a few options, long tap, long press, press home, swipe down, and swipe up. So double tap, let me set this to something else say I could set it to open overview which means if I double tap on my home screen as I'll do right now it will open this this is overview apparently as it's called 
So I can do that and jump straight into settings. I could also change it to just open lawn chair settings. So if I double tap, it opens the settings, full stop right there. And you could add any of these options for any of these gestures here. So also backups, you can create and restore backups of your home screen, which is real nice. So uh, if you want to create a backup, just tap create, choose what you want to backup. For me, I'll keep it for everything. Location, device storage, and hit check. And it'll take a few minutes here and it will create your backup. And as you can see, there's another item in my list here. So to show you how to restore works, if you have a backup set and it's in this list, just tap on it. I have one from earlier today. And let's see, I want to restore it. So hit the blue restore button in the bottom right hand corner. And it will restore the backup in a few minutes. And there we go, it restored the backup. I'm just going to go home to show you how it looks here. It will load up. And this is the backup. Not much is different, it's basically the same, but it did work. Alright, and lastly, we have the about option, but I will get back to that in just a minute. I want to show you something else here. So if you long press on any option or any icon here, so let's choose the Play Store. If you long press on it, you get this little thing that pops up here. This is not unique to this app, but this little pencil is. So if you tab the little pencil, it'll bring up an option here. So it gives you some quick little option or one quick little option for the Play Store. So here it actually lets you rename it. So for example, I could just name it Store or Let's, let, let's think of something, um, Google Triangle Market. There you go, so the Google Triangle Market, which is not long enough, but it changes the label there for the app, so that's convenient sometimes. You can also choose to hide it from the app drawer as well, and this gives you some quick little options to customize your icons a little more, which is nice. also lets you choose which icon you want to use. So if you have certain icon packs installed and you tap on the icon, it will give you some options here. You can actually tap on system icons here and it'll let you pick from a long, long, long list of icons. So here we have all my app icons here. So I can actually disguise apps. So let's say I can disguise it as Google Chrome. So now it looks like Google Chrome even though it's actually the Play Store. So that's interesting if if um, there's any use for that. You know, it gives you lots of options and that's what's nice. So going back into settings, you can go to about and this just tells you a little bit about the team, the developers that have worked on this app and are working on this app. Also the translators that have helped translate this app into many 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 different languages which is always nice licenses and all that boring stuff there's also straight a link to their github twitter and website and one thing i want to show you is their telegram community and um, this is it on share community it's the official community and these people here are really nice i'll leave a link to this community in the description and this is where you need to download the APK file in order to install this app. It's not currently on the Play Store, but if you have any questions here or want to figure out where to download it, you can ask here and these people on this community will definitely get back to you and help you. Also, if anyone does not have a Telegram account, I will put a link to my Google Drive with the file in it so you can download it from there. So that's really all I have for you guys today. This launcher is one of the best I've ever found in my opinion. It rivals Nova Launcher, which is a very, very popular one. And again, if you have any questions, make sure to ask me in the comments below, and I will make sure to get back with you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.